What is going down, Niner Empire? Welcome back to another video. I'm just going to set you guys up right there. Oh, never mind. Let me see if I can do that. There we go. Uh, what's going down? Welcome back um, to another NFL preview video as we have my San Francisco 49ers taking on the New Orleans Saints in New Orleans. Um, this is going to be a hell of a game. I cannot wait for this game. Um, it's... It's going to be one of those games where it's going to be between whoever really has probably the most turnovers will, will lose this game. Because when, when, when the 49ers are getting to the point in their schedule where they're starting to play teams like the Saints, uh, teams like the Ravens who we just played, um, and not only that, but you know if you look at the next four games we have, we're at New Orleans, we're home against the Falcons, we're in Seattle, and then we're at home against the Rams. So those are the remaining four games the Niners have. Um, and really, in all reality, it would be nice if we could win out, uh, considering there's not very many... Um, I don't know really how to put this. There's not very really... There's not really... Like, the, the AFC, the way how the AFC playoff picture is set up, there's clear-cut teams that are... You know, in the playoffs with the NFC, the 49ers are currently ten and two, and they're sitting at fifth in the division because of how good Seattle. Well, Seattle really is not that good this year, uh, and their their holes will become noticeable in the playoffs. I guarantee it. Um, <clears throat> but just because Seattle's leading our division, just because they're a game ahead of us, basically, they are leading the division, um, and for the Niners to Take that NFC West title. We're going to need to win out. Um, or to take that NFC West title. We're probably we're going to need to win out. And we cannot lose against the Niners. Or we can't lose against the Saints, the Seahawks, or the Rams. Those are three big games we cannot lose against. We really can't lose at the Falcons either. So, technically, it's a win. It's a win out situation. Um, if we want to stay or if we want to have any shot at getting one seed in the playoffs. Um, it'd be nice getting one seed in the playoffs because you get that first round bye. But at the end of the day, the the way I'm looking at this season is if we can get in the playoffs, I don't care for a sixth seed. If we can get into the playoffs, I will be completely fine. The season, my goal for the season is, is, is uh, taken care of. We got into the playoffs. I mean, for the 49ers to not be as good the past six years and then for them to kind of come up and and finally be good again you know sign garoppolo get players in free agency kind of set up this team for success for us to do that and for us to get to the playoffs this year that's all i want i want i just want to get in the playoffs because it shows when you get in the playoffs you know you you, you have a shot at the super bowl it's it's it just it looks good if you're in the playoffs. I mean, any any fan of any NFL team knows that it, it's good when you're in the playoffs. It shows that your team is good. And at the end of the day, like I said, if we don't, if we lose in the playoffs or if we if we don't get first seed or whatever, who cares? We got into the playoffs. We 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 had a great season. There's things positive to look back at. We have a shot to go to the Super Bowl. If there's two NFC teams, I'm picking to go to the Super Bowl. It's either it's it's going to be between this game next week. It's it's got to be between the Niners and the Saints. The the 49ers are a better football team than the Seattle Seahawks. Seattle Seahawks fans say what you want. We have a better team than you guys. You guys have a better quarterback. And that's what basically that's what last game kind of led down to is who had the better quarterback. Russell Wilson made a play or two extra than Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo had turnovers. The better quarterback played well. That was Russell Wilson in that game. And obviously with that, the Seahawks won that game. And we didn't even have Kittle. We didn't have Emmanuel Sanders. We didn't have Matt Breida. We did not have Kyle Juszczyk. Uh, we didn't have Robbie Gold. So those are big, big key factors. Um, I've Actually, maybe we did have... Uh, I think we did have Kyle Juszczyk. I think that's the game he came back. But either way... Take away Emmanuel Sanders. Take away George Kittle. There's your two best offensive weapons right there. Take away Matt Breida. That's a running back that you know we use quite often. Um, a lot of people think that Matt that Matt or a lot of people think Matt Breida should be our starting running back. He technically kind of is. Him and Tevin Coleman switch off here and there, but at the end of the day, 
we're playing a very good Saints team, and we're going to need to play on our A game, limit turnovers, and get to Drew Brees. We are playing a quarterback in Drew Brees who cannot scramble, but he is a Hall of Fame quarterback. Drew Brees is one of my favorite quarterbacks all time in this league. He's a he's a humble dude. There's there's a every factor that Drew Brees comes with, you have to respect him for it. Uh, because he can take away he can he can come back. He's led comebacks. Uh, he's lost in the playoffs. He's 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 won a Super Bowl. He's a Hall of Fame quarterback and I have nothing but respect for Drew Brees. And I'm not I really don't mind the Saints. Like if there's like if you if you're gonna put the Saints and the Seahawks right here and you're gonna compare the two and you're gonna ask me which one I hate more, I'm gonna pick the Seahawks all day, any time of the day. I hate the Seahawks, but the Saints are a team I don't really mind. They're just a great football team. I respect Sean Payton. I respect what, what they did. I respect Michael Tom. I respect their team in general, and I have a lot of respect for Drew Brees. So with this 49ers team, I think the two biggest keys to victory is going to be getting to Drew Brees. Drew Brees cannot scramble, so when with us pr applying pressure, we can cause turnovers. We can cause things upon that nature with when, when we played the Ravens last week and we had to go against Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson is an unreal quarterback. He's an MV court, <clears throat> He's the MVP of this season, in my opinion. He should be, at least. And when you have a quarterback like Lamar Jackson, it, it's, it's, it makes it harder for teams to, to stop what you're trying to do because a, you could have... We could be in a, in a, in a zone coverage and... You know we have the 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 pat we have everybody locked up, and then Lamar Jackson does a bootleg and he gets twenty plus yards and and it's just almost impossible to stop. You have to be on your heels at all play or at all times uh, when you're playing a quarterback like Lamar Jackson, like Kyler Murray, like Russell Wilson. So with a with the Saints, they have a Hall of Fame quarterback, but he can't scramble, and I think that's what the 49ers need to take advantage of is getting to him. Uh, the 49ers struggled against Kyler Murray. He's been the probably the best quarterback we played all season. That's had, you know, a, a hell of a game like he did. Uh, Kyler Murray played great against against us, um, and it, and it was because we're not necessarily used to, we weren't used to an up tempo offense at the time. And not only that, but it makes it harder for guys on the defensive line to get to a quarterback who has running back type speed like Kyler Murray does, like Lamar Jackson does, like Russell Wilson does. Um, so with Drew Brees, we're going to have to get to him. We're going to have to get to him multiple times, more than once in this game. We're going to have to cause three and outs. We're going to have to cause turnovers to win this football game. Um, I think that the 49ers will win this football game. I think they have a really great shot at winning this football game. And with that, I think the 49ers win this game 31-27. I told people that today at school. I told my marketing teacher that. We're going to win this game 31-27. I think it's going to be close. It's going to be a back-and-forth battle, but I think in the end, the 49ers' defense is the determining factor in this game, and I think that with how good the 49ers' defense plays in this game, I think that we end up winning, and I hope we do, and I hope I'm right. If we're not, I'm probably going to look like a jackass on here, but, you know, completely on to be completely honest, I really do genuinely think we're going to win this football game. I think everything points to San Francisco. San Francisco needs to win this game more than the Saints need to win this game. Well, not necessarily because the Saints are currently sitting at the, the first seed in the NFC with the 49ers losing last week. I think the 49ers come out with a bunch of a shit ton of firepower. I think they come out with um, a furious defense. The 49ers are going to win this game. They need to win this game more than the Saints need to win this game. And the 49ers are going to take advantage of it, and that's why I think we're going to win this game. 31-27, lock it. The 49ers will beat the Saints this Sunday. Um, we'll see how it goes. The Saints have a great team. Like I said, I respect the Saints, and I respect their coach. They have a very, very good football team. That's a top NFC team right there. Um, and that shows, I mean, really the 49ers should be a top the NFC, but – one loss within one week changed the whole picture, thanks to the Baltimore Ravens. Um, but with that being said, there are my there's my preview video to the to this Saints uh, versus 49ers game. Like I said, it's a one o'clock game. It's in New Orleans, Mercedes-Benz Superdome, and um, I expect the 49ers to win this game. I really do. If we lose this game, I'm gonna be very I'm gonna be upset. But at the end of the day, we're sitting at ten and three. 
um, and it's it's a uh, it's a chance to go eleven and three, as Urban Meyer would say. Uh, but if we win this game, we improve to eleven and two. And the best thing about eleven and two, thanks to Urban Meyer, is the best chance to go twelve and two. So hopefully that happens. Hopefully the Niners win this game. And uh, good luck to the, the Saints. I think I have a few Saints fans on this channel. Good luck to y'all. And um, I'll be back in a few days with more videos. One more thing. I believe D. Ford is going to be active for this game. Uh, Matt Breida was a full participant in practice. Matt Breida will be good to go this Sunday. Uh, Manuel said we're going to have a healthy squad this Sunday. And I think that um, we're going to win this football game. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, as always, go Niners.